What is that? It's a creamy chicken in Kiev. What in the f is that? That. What is it? That is the toothpick. No. Please don't eat that. Can you imagine that hit someone's throat? I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not even gonna taste it. Pretty much a lot embarrassed. Okay, Scott, um, what's the dish? You have a duck breast, parsnips, and star anise. Mm -hmm. It'll be a struggle for me to be a cook amongst other cooks because I've become accustomed to being a chef amongst cooks. Well. I would be embarrassed to finish second place. I mean, it's, you know, rather pathetic. There's not one appetizing ingredient. No one's won that one. F off, both of you. Next two, please. With the score still tied, line cook Mikey and pub executive chef Siobhan prepare to go head to head. Now. What the f is going on with your hair? Do you mind if I touch it? Does it? Oh no, it doesn't. Holy crap! Why is that? Wax, chef. Wax? Yes, chef. Did you fall in? <laughs> <laughs> What's with the tattoos? How many do you have? Uh, quite a few, chef. My latest one, chef. Oh. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, my God. The score is tied in the signature dish challenge, but line cook Mikey's tattoos are stealing the spotlight. Oh, my God. And there's a reason why. Oh, I've just one word and it's what the f clearly dedicated let's see if you can execute what is that brie stuffed with lobster looks a mess <laughs> but it tastes delicious thank you chef Siobhan yes yes what's with the dreads I've had them for about eight years now People think of me when they first see my dreads as some dirty hippie girl. No, I do not want to see a dread in a spaghetti, because you'll be dreading it, trust me. What is that contraption? Seared ahi tuna that's wrapped in mint leaves. Very brave, wrapping tuna in mint, but it works. The winner. Both of you, well done. You each get a point. After perfect performances from Mikey and Siobhan. Next two, let's go. Private chef Stacy. The fish is overcooked. Squares off with executive chef Jay. Steak seasoned beautifully. Thank you, chef. And Jay takes the point for the men's team. Well done. Catering chef Fran. It's not going to set the world on fire. Faces off against personal chef Jason. One of the very few chefs can actually make grits delicious. And Jason extends the blue team's lead. Hell yeah. With the men up four to two, high school cooking teacher Ed's fish. Oh, the demi glass is so salty. Competes against personal chef Autumn's chicken. That is good enough to go to heaven for. Who closes the gap for the red team. Point to the ladies. Up next, line cook Nilka. This is the last pairing. Versus cook and farmer Andrew. Right, now, what is that? A steak tartare. And I guess the inspiration from that came from the fact that I've raised and butchered my own animals. And I like to eat them raw. When I win this competition, I'm gonna buy two walk-in coolers. That's all I really want, is two walk-in coolers. Are you some form of house kitchen Hannibal Lecter? Maybe. Then I can start butchering animals, which is what I like to do. <laughs> Bland. What a shame. Okay. Nelka, why did you become a chef? I love cooking. That's my passion. I'm a single mom with three kids. I want to teach my kids that in order to get something in life, you have to go for it. I know I'm going to win Hell's Kitchen. I will not settle for less. And this is your? My sweet and spicy wings. So chicken wings. Mm -hmm. This is old family favorite. Mm. No, they're hot. My lips are burning. I apologize. How much Tabasco did you put there? Um, half a bottle. Half a bottle of Tabasco? I apologize. That's gonna blow your 
about that. Burn my mouth. Nobody gets a point, but the men win. Congratulations, well done. Back in line. Oh. You'll find out your reward and your punishment later, ladies, yes? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. The winner of Hell's Kitchen this year will be the head chef at one of my restaurants at the most amazing, historic Savoy Hotel in London, England. It's been graced by some of the best chefs in the world. You know, the Savoy, I was shocked in rap terms. That's like Jay-Z. You understand what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. Excited? Yes, yes sir. And remember one thing, we will be completing our first dinner service, yes? Yes, yes sir. OK, off to the dorms. Follow Scott and Andy. With Chef Ramsay's promise to the press still ringing in their ears, the chefs head to their new home. Ooh. Been remodeled, guys. Nice. This hot right here, man. Ooh. When I woke up to the dorm, it felt like I was in another world. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Looks like a nice fan now, so let's say like that. Dude, what a trip. You trip yeah, already? You're provided with your chef jacket, a menu, book to study, and a brand new set of Henkel knives to keep. Yes, Henkels. The knives are the best. With the cleaver. They're going to last a lifetime. That should be the last knife set you purchase, honestly. Remember, we will compete our first dinner. The biggest thing that scares me right now is making sure that our first dinner service is going to be completed. What we're doing right now, we have to know this. OK, what's in the risotto? That's easy. Cream lobster risotto finished with lobster and mascarpone. mascarpone. All right, so we've got that one down. While the red team is feeling a little more confident, the blue team Man, that's a lot of is feeling a little more pressure. This is why people screw up, because it's like, you got to memorize all this. Well, yeah, it's fine. We can do it. We got time. And both teams are in for a surprise. Um. Oh, God. Why is there an alarm? Fire alarm. I got scared. I don't know what the hell going on. What now? It's the first night in the dorms, and the chefs are studying hard. But there's something that requires their immediate attention. Right, can I have everybody's attention, please? Hurry up. Good. Listen, I'm going to give you every opportunity to succeed tomorrow night. Lesson number one, lobster risotto. Listen carefully. After making an official declaration in front of the press to complete the first dinner service... Rice in. Chef Ramsay has made a series of video lessons to ensure his promise is kept. I don't want the risotto to be too stiff. The lesson that Chef Ramsay gave us was invaluable. Now, I expect you to do it perfectly. And hell, I hope he give us like 20 more of those. We will complete our first dinner service. After the first lesson, the chefs are inspired to study anywhere. Dude, it's so great to see that, though, because it's no, like, it's I, I'll, I got good. it. I got it, it's you good. know? It's good. And everywhere. And through the night, the lessons keep coming. Lesson number two, filet of beef. And coming. What now? Lesson number three, scallops. And coming. Damn, crazy. Lesson number four, roast. And up. coming. Lesson number five. Lesson number six. Lesson number seven. Lesson number eight. Come on! I heard it when I was in the shower. Wow, wow, wow. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. I don't give two what time in the morning is seeing the demo really helped us out. It's like, we're going to be able to do this. And Chef Ramsay will be proud of us. You know, he'll be psyched tomorrow. Oh. After an exhausting night of lessons, the red team sous chef Andy wakes her team early. Ladies, get up. To inform them of their punishment for losing the signature dish challenge. Our punishment is cooking breakfast for the boys in bed. What? Be quiet. We don't want to wake the guys. I don't cook my own boys' breakfast in bed, so it kind of really pisses me off just a little bit. Oh my god, you have to squeeze OJ for them? You gotta be kidding me. Couple waffles are up. While the red team cooks as a team. This one's ready to go. The blue team sleeps as a team. Good morning, boys. Rise and shine, boys. Oh, oh, pleasant. Oh, let, me get, let me get that rose for you. It really pays to win the challenges. 